beautiful people, thank you so much for joining me today on this video. I am super excited and I say this every single time and I'm probably going to say it every single video because I love food. Today, today, today I am baking a cake. But what kind of cake you might ask? I am baking a blackberry lavender naked cake with white chocolate buttercream. <gasps> This recipe comes from Half Baked Harvest. I've been following them on Instagram for a while and I actually didn't know that they made this recipe. I was just chilling on Pinterest, searching for some things to cook and then all of a sudden this cake pops up and it looks so good. Lavender is what I was like hooked on this. Long story short, it ended up being the Half Baked Harvest I'm really excited to see how this turns out. If you guys saw my cupcake episode, yeah, that was fun. Hopefully everything's gonna record and I'll be good to go. I have less worries this time. The lavender I was really excited for. I have this much lavender and it doesn't go bad until 2020. I bought this lavender for my bridal shower. It was a lavender theme and we made like lavender lemon bars, we made lavender lemonade. I guess we could have made more lavender but yeah, I have a lot of it. So, lavender cake. I can use some of this, yay! Let's just get cooking now that I've been blabbing on for so long. First things first, preheat my oven, check. Preheat it to 350 and then it wants me to grease two 8 inch pans. Already a problem. Went to Walmart. They don't have 8 inch pans, they only have 9 inch. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Doubt it'll be a problem. It might just be a little thinner. Grease them with butter and line it with parchment paper. So we're gonna do that right now. Butter, 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 butter. butter. Mm. My hand temperature is melting the butter on top, making it harder to hold on to. I've been watching some binging with Babish binging on some binging with Babish. <laughs> what he does is you like fold it in half, fold that in half, fold it in half, and then you like snip it to the right length and then it works. Okay, fold it in half, fold it in half, diagonally, fold it again diagonally, maybe again, I don't know. Hopefully that's halfway. And you snip it. Oh my gosh, that's so much extra. Oh, I made it bigger. Hold it again. Oh, much better. Great. Step number two, finally. Bowl mixer. Large, medium, I don't know. Canola oil. Beautiful. Perfect. Half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. I just want to make sure that's the right amount. I don't want to mess up. I'm going to call it good. Three large eggs. One. Two. Heck yeah. Oh, one handed. Get it. This one, not so much. Oh, okay. It worked. Here's my sugar again. Big thing. Don't know why we need it so big, but I guess now that I'm baking a little bit more, it helps. So one cup. Two cups. Now I need a tablespoon, yes, a tablespoon of brand new vanilla extract. Ah! Oh, I almost over poured that. And it wants one and a half cups. One and a half. Good thing I did a big bowl. This is a lot of ingredients. I'm gonna mix this and then add my dry ingredients. My handy dandy tool kit. <gasps> what is, oh my gosh, that's probably all from the cupcake. I got frosting all over it. I guess I didn't clean it. All right, let's mix this baby. Okay, I think that's the best I'm gonna get with that oil. Next, add the flour. Three and three fourths, my goodness, that's a lot. I'll do three of our cups and then three of our fourths. 
I wonder why some recipes tell you to sift it and others tell you just to dump it in. Sifting is so beautiful too. It really, it's like so satisfying when you sift something. It looks beautiful. Baking soda? How much baking soda does it want me to use? And baking powder, also one teaspoon. And salt. How much salt? One teaspoon of salt. Done! Is that all? Yes. So, mix it. Alright. Done with that. Until just combined, pour the batter amongst the pans and bake for 30 to 35 minutes until the tops are just set, no longer wiggly. Blah 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 blah. blah. Remove, cool for five minutes, then run a knife along the Mmm. Pouring it half and half. So far, so good. I am digging this recipe. Um, they're not like super even. I think this one has a little bit more. I think it's fine. It doesn't really say like, they have to be even, so I think we're good. Okay, putting it in my oven for 30 to 35 minutes. Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes, starting now. Now I am going to make the jam. To make the jam, add the blackberries, honey, lemon juice, and lavender in a medium-sized pot set over high heat. Here are my blackberries, honey, my lemon juice, and my dried lavender. It wants six cups of blackberries, so six cups uh, washed rats, black, blackberries. One. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Six with many leftover for photos. I'm learning more and more about how to take these dang food photos because let me tell you, it is not easy to make food appealing. Sometimes food just doesn't look that great. It just tastes good. Half a cup. So that's a fourth. Mm. Yummy honey. Yes, sir. A tablespoon of lemon juice. And then it wants a uh, one to two teaspoons of dried lavender. High heat, bring mixture to a boil. Once it's boiled, use a potato masher to mash the berries. Continue to cook for five to eight minutes or until the jam has reduced and thickened. Remove from heat and let cool. Should thicken as it cools. So I need to bring it to a boil. Okay. Let's boil it. I guess just wait until it starts heating up. Okay, so there is two things that I need to do. I guess while this is happening, I can do it. So I need to melt my butter and melt my chocolate. As you guys know, I don't have a microwave, so I need to do a double broiler. Boiler, broiler, boiler, boiler. Yeah. These are the only saucepans that I have, so I need to find bowls that fit these. Luckily, I have a lot of bowls. That fits too perfectly, so maybe like that, and then like that. Okay. 
I'm gonna put my butter. So it says it wants three sticks. I've got like mini sticks, so I have six of these sticks. Ooh, it's getting toasty in here. Am I sweating? Can you see that glisten? Cause it is getting hot in here. I'll tell you what. Ah, no! It's like splashing everywhere. I don't wanna get this dirty. My butter is done. Now I'm going to measure out my white chocolate and it wants eight ounces. Eight ounces is about a cup, or it is a cup actually. So I'm just gonna measure out eight cups and eat the fallen ones. Um, would you say that's at a boil? I would say so. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna mash it now. Let's do this. Okay, I think that is mashed enough. I don't want to get it on my clothes. Hey Google, how much longer on my timer? You have two timers. The five minute timer is running with one minute and 36 seconds left. And the 30 minute timer is running with eight minutes and 34 seconds. My five minutes is almost done. This is a mess that I was not prepared for. Look at all these bubbles everywhere. Look, it's on my floor too. This is insane. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Alongside our boiling blackberries, I have my melting uh, chocolate, my melting chocolate, and my melting butter. Yes. Hey Google, turn the timer off. I'm gonna clean that right now, because I do not like that. Ah, it's so hot. Ah. All right, can't clean it. It's way too hot in this area for my baby fingers. It is insane how hot I am in my house. I would love to turn on my air conditioner, but the vent is like right here next to the camera and the setup, and I feel like the mic's gonna pick it up, and then I'm gonna have a ruined video. It's just so hot. To melt chocolate, do I need to add milk? According to What's Cooking America, add a taste-free vegetable oil, shortening warm milk or cream or warm melted butter by the teaspoon to the melted chocolate in a saucepan. Okay, my chocolate is like melting weird. I'm gonna add some oil to it and see if that helps. I'm letting my butter cool off because I think it's done and it's almost time to start on my buttercream. <sighs> While those cool off, I need to cool off. My goodness, I am so hot. I really hope that this jam is gonna work because <laughs> because it looks very liquidy. My cake is ready. Where am I going to it? Hey Google. Turn off. Oh! Okay, let's make sure that these are done. They seem very done to me. So I'm going to pull them out and put them on this nasty towel because I don't have enough hot pad things for hot stuff. <sighs> they look delicious. I'm going to make my buttercream. Add butter and powdered sugar to a bowl in a sand mixer. It's still really hot. I'm gonna put it in the freezer real quick my blackberry lavender jam is not thickening and it's, it's upsetting me. I'm gonna try boiling it again and I don't have a lid for this pan so I'm gonna put a plate on top because I do not want that mess again. No thank you. I don't like that. I think that's long enough. I'm just going to take it out, let it reduce in heat, cool down, cool down, that's what that was, cool down. And now let's check. My butter has not cooled down fully. 
but I think it's like cool enough. Add the powdered sugar. I need one and a half cups of powdered sugar. One and a half. Thought I didn't need this anymore, but I do. Up. Why don't I read? It wanted my butter at room temperature and I haven't melted. It's not gonna work. Oh my gosh. <gasps> and to think that everything was going so well. How do I come back from this? I don't know if there's a way. Can I salvage? Buttercream with melted butter. Here are some results from the web. Can I salvage buttercream with melted butter? So here we have a buttercream that we made earlier. I guess I will be back to get some butter. Why didn't I read? It says at room temperature, at room temperature, and I melted it. Why did I melt it? I will be back. Bye. Guys, it is too late for me to be messing up my freaking video, my recipe, and having to run to the store and buy more ingredients because I screwed up. So yeah, at almost nine o'clock at night, I have to run to the nearest grocery store and pick up more butter because I decided to melt my butter instead of leave it at room temperature. <sighs> Hello. I come back with butter. Let it somewhat mostly get to room temperature. So we are going to try this buttercream again. I need three sticks of butter. Butter. Two butter. Three. Done. And now I need more powdered sugar. Let's do this. Just why can't this work? Butter is like all gone. That took forever. Add the butter, blah blah blah. Beat the butter, blah blah blah. Add the melted chocolate. <laughs> to assemble, using a large serrated knife, cut my cakes in half. Oh my gosh, they're still warm. Oh no, no, no. Oh, I'm going to put them in the fridge and hopefully they cool down and then I can get this done with because it is getting late right now and I'm getting tired. Now we wait again. Yay. Now that it is almost 10.30 o'clock at night, let's finish this cake. With the serrated knife, carefully cut each of these in half. I see people do this on shows where they kind of just, they're doing half, and they just keep on cutting, and eventually, <gasps> they've got it. <sighs> My silence is pure defeat. This cake is not cooked in the middle. For aesthetic reasons, I will be using this piece. But will I be eating it? Probably not. I'll eat like the bottom two layers, but oh, only because I want it to be a taller looking cake, I am going to use it for pictures. <laughs> When I started this cake, when I started this video, I was thinking like, wow, everything is going so smooth. This is crazy. This is gonna be like one of those videos where like May Day doesn't actually happen and it's gonna be a beautiful time. Well, you guys know what happened. <laughs> so that's great. Okay. Just, we're just gonna keep on going. Forget about that slide. Place one layer cake on a serving plate. Spread a fourth of the buttercream over the cake and layer about a fourth cup of jam. So I'm gonna get some buttercream. Put it 
on my cake. Honestly, I don't think this jam made it either because it is pretty liquidy. We're just gonna do it because it's 10.30 o'clock at night and I'm about done with this cake. I mean, it looks delicious. Like, don't get me wrong. If there's something that I can do, it's I make the food look bomb. The process though, that's a different story. Add my layer of cake and repeat the process. Who in their right mind thought, hmm, baking a cake is gonna be the best idea. It's gonna take me what? Nine o'clock maybe? No. I might come back tomorrow and like eat it and taste it. What side should I put? I'm done. I am done. Oh wait. Now this is a naked cake, so my frosting does not need to be good at all. And it doesn't look good at all. Little spin action here. I don't think I need to do the outside. It says lightly. But what does lightly mean? Yes! Done! Add some raspberries on top. How? I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know, let's get creative. Let's drizzle some raspberry on top. Ooh, like a, like a flash. Flash of raspberry just happened. Maybe? I don't know. We're just getting creative here. We're making this ugly cake look like something spectacular. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I just, I just, <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna put it in the fridge, I'm gonna clean up a little, and then I'm gonna take some photos. I don't think I'm gonna try it today. I already know that it's good, it's a cake. I mean, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be, I mean, unless I cook the jam wrong. Hello, it's a new day, I know. Um, I was way too tired last night, and I'm in a rush because someone outside is cranking the, there it is cranking that machine so I'm gonna probably snip some of this but I am but I am ready to try my cake I've tried bits and pieces of it and now I'm just gonna try it all together that's good it is a good cake I did a good job for all the mayhem that happened. I think I did pretty good. Yes, there's a part that's not cooked. I'm not gonna eat that part. He just doesn't wanna stop out there. Even though I had some mayday in the kitchen, this came out very good. It's not about the process, it's about the end result. Um, yeah, it's good. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing because um, I don't want to. I'll leave this for my husband. Please. I'll leave this for my husband. The rest is with my mom and dad and my sister, and they're gonna eat it up. And I'm pretty sure they'll enjoy it. I hope they will. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this May Day of an adventure. This one was, I would say, by far the most difficult. I don't know. I feel like I say that every time I have videotaped something where something has gone wrong. But being that this like took forever, I had to run to the store. I mean, I did have to run to the store with my pad thai one, but it wasn't as late, so it, well, I don't think it was as bad. Thank you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I want to encourage each and every one of you to start cooking in your kitchen. Use the hashtag Mayday in my kitchen as you guys recreate the recipes from my channel. I will feature you guys on my Instagram stories as well as my upcoming YouTube videos. So start cooking! Ooh.